I'm Laura Daniel and welcome to Laura Loves New York. I have a very special guest with me. This is a radio rock star, actress, producer, creator of so many wonderful things. This is Cindy Mitch. This is me. <laughs> Cindy is the founder of the film festival Art is Alive in New York and L.A., and she's the host of the very popular radio show Sin's Chat Corner. We were going to go to Washington Square Park, but it rained today. <laughs> and that sucks, because that's like my favorite place in the city. But we found a really fun diner, Washington Square Park Diner. Yep. And so we're just going to catch up and chat. So where are you from originally? Uh, Wisconsin. I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There for 49 years. Yes, I just dated myself. So yes, 49 years I've been in Milwaukee, and the next six years we'll be finishing up there, and New York will be my second home for the rest. Picture. So tell me what you're working on right now. Of course, this is the third year of my Art is Alive Film Festival, which is a New York City-based indie festival. So we're going to start taking submissions, and that's going to go on probably mid to late July of 2019. That's a big one. Big thing I'm excited about, 20 New York City actors, 20 Wisconsin actors. My short film, 100 Looks of Love, is about to start shooting. I'm super excited just because of the fact that I'm combining two different states, unions, non-unions. I've got people in my cast never even acted before a day in their life. How did, so how did you get into this? Did you start as an actor in theater or? No, I was a writer. Won my first award at 15, and now I've been writing since I've been 15, so about almost 25 years that I've been a professional writer. And basically the writing took off. Got a real job because I had kids, and then for a long time I've been writing and not publishing, and then when I hit about, ooh, 38, 40 years old, that's where everything started to take off. I had published, I had done all these other different things, and then I got into radio, and then radio led to film. So tell me how you got involved with the radio side. I had an individual who was affiliated with some sort of internet-based radio come to me and say, hey, you know what? I've been following you for a little while. You should do radio. My response was, have you listened to me? Because I sound like a boy, and I kid you not. And I still say I sound like a boy. I'm like, there's no way I can do radio because I'm a writer, right? So he's like, try it out. I asked my friends, they're like, what's the worst thing that could happen? My first interview was with Peggy Tannell, so the Real Housewives of Orange County, scared to death. Here we are, eight years later, 64,000 listeners uh, on an internet-based radio show that's now going to be streamed on live television. Friends. And before you know it, here we are now. Not only am I at my own film festival, I'm doing my own film. And I am so impressed with all the stuff that you're Thank doing. You. It's just amazing. I would love to hear more about the film that you're working on. It's Love. Okay, a Love's Two-Way Mirror is the second one. That's going to be our feature film. That's what I call my healing film. That's going to be taking place in 2019 just because we have a bigger cast. We have some recognizable names in it. And it takes a while to put together a feature production. So what I decided to do was I approached an airline and a cruise line and I said you know what do you like the feature film idea and they said yes but our demographic is 55 to 70 so what did Cindy do Cindy wrote an outline called 100 looks of love which is our feel-good movie and now we're gonna film this and send it off to an airline and a cruise line and all sorts of businesses <laughs> If you haven't figured it out, this is a really fun interview. <laughs> and um, and actually, Laura Dowling Shea, who I interviewed, and yes. who's been interviewed. Yes. Actress producer Laura Dowling Shea was on my show for the Modern Sanctuary episode, and she recommended Cindy and I to each other on social media, which is not surprising because Laura is a trailblazer. Out there, big yes. love for Do Laura Dowling Shea. If you're watching right now, go support her. We, we love, love you. her. <laughs> so, my last question for you is if you could give yourself your younger self advice. What would it be? I guess the one thing that I really should have told her a long time ago is that you're special and that you can do it and you shouldn't have waited so long to realize that your dreams are only about half a second away. You just had to be patient and wait. All that darkness, all those clouds were going to go away. You just didn't realize it at the time. So beautiful. And I love that you're coming from Wisconsin here to New York. To you betcha. And combining the, the, the Midwest sentimentality with the New York Oh yeah, vibe, and that we're all—it just—it shows that we're all connected. Oh, we, definitely, we are all so totally connected. without a doubt. And I make no mistake. Obviously, in Wisconsin, I've built some wonderful things. But coming to New York City, there's just something about the city. People live and breathe art here. That's a huge thing. The fact that you're surrounded by so many creatives is absolutely wonderful. Art is Alive is currently accepting submissions, and the films chosen for this festival will be screened in July. And um, actually, I, I'm going to be doing her radio show. So we'll see you in a we'll few months. We'll see you in a few months. All right. Bye, bye. guys. Bye. <laughs> if there's anywhere you'd like to see in New York, you can drop me a line at lauralovesnewyork2 at gmail.com.